before. I forgot a password for one of my web pages. Yeah. And then reset it, and it sent you that auto auto generated password. Uh, uh, will this be enough? And it reset my uh, password. And I go in to type the new password, replace the automated generated one, put in the password. Error before pops up. This password. This is your previous password, pages. so you can't use this anymore. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck off. Oh, sorry. Fuck off. Didn't you hear me the first time? Fuck off. Okay, now I can see the comments in my stream again. So if anyone's commenting anything, I can see it again. Hooray. Okay, so... Div. Class equals wrapper. End of div. And yet... It's doing diddly. <sighs> I hate doing this. Where's my fucking application? Where's Visual Studio? <laughs> I'm an old crusty bastard. I need my copy of Visual Studio. And this is crashed right there. I can close that out that way. Uh, SkyDrive Pro. Mm. Everything's freaking crashing on me. You know, there's a freaking better way of doing this. Yeah, I like Visual Studio. Um, oh yeah, Visual Studio for one is a better way, but we're not allowed to use that because it writes the freaking code for you. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't. It w yeah, it does have a certain... Um, yeah, you're right. It does. Yeah, it, does it, it predicts what you're doing and the little things pop up, you hit enter, poof, it puts it onto the screen for you. You don't have to type it out. What am I going to do? This would be breaking the rules of the homework. But what I can do is take this and then put it into the body. Copy. Paste. There we go. And now it should apply those properties to both pages. I don't have to type anything extra. That's the theory. Let's see if I just caused everything to explode and crash. But that is part of the fun, isn't it? So Fuck me, it exploded and crashed. <laughs> I'm trying out your little thing at the moment. Uh, yeah, it should just go in there like that. Oh. You know what would help? Well. Did I even write it into the correct CSS document? Yeah, that's always good. Yes, I did. This isn't the correct CSS document. The thing is, if I do it the way I want, I'm thinking of doing it, just taking this and putting it into there like that in the body tag. That just fucking works a treat. Yeah, I've just done what you've done. It does work really well, actually. Putting it in the body tag? What? No, you don't. I've literally... I'll send you some code. I've actually done your homework for you in about 35 seconds. Of but... course. <laughs> Just tried out your margin auto right and right away. That really works well. I like that. I've learned something today. I do it another way, and it's a lot more fucking clunky. That's just fucking... Uh, I like that. That's quite cool. Yeah. Doing the div thing? Oh, doing divs. I always use divs, but... Um, uh, div class wrapper. That's right there. Did I spell wrapper freaking wrong? No. No. Yeah, don't need to do that. Okay, too many things this. open. Save. Don't save. Close. 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 I declare too many things open! Oh look, my memory usage is 
still creeping upwards. I wonder if my memory's actually broke. No, that's not that. Something else is doing it. Trust me on that. It ain't your memory. Right. Take a look at this. I'm going to send you some code to have a look at. And just load it up in your browser and take a look. It's very simple. Another thing to always do with any programming problem is isolate it to its most simple form. Then once you've got it working in its most simple form, then move Mac to including it in the more complex thing. That way, you produce a lot less trouble. So, in this case, I'll show you a simpler form of what you're trying to do. Based right. on your homework. There you go. I know Let's what the problem the is. <coughs> if you load my document up, you'll see. I know what the problem is too. I didn't save it as say as home.html. It was saved oh. as home.txt. Yeah, that done out. So whatever I'm trying to open the HTML document, guess what isn't applied? Hmm. The changes okay. I just made to the text document. <laughs> there you go. Take a look at what I've done. Uh the problem. That's not now, I haven't got a separate style sheet because I've put it into the header with style tag. Just Is this written in Latin? Yes, it's Lauren Ipsum. So it's Lauren Latin. Ips I can recognize Latin. <laughs> it, Lauren, Lauren Ipsum has been used by printers for hundreds of years as a way of, if you want to lay out some text and you go, what the fuck am I going to write? Yeah, you do Lauren Ipsum. Or basically just random letters. No, the random letters are no good. Because random letters, you get weird stuff. Laura Mipsum is a standard. And it lays everything. You, you, it looks like every language in the world. And you can go, oh, that, that's how it's going to look when I get real words in there. So you go, Laura Mipsum. And you can generate Laura Mipsum. It's brilliant. Here's <laughs> a Laura Mipsum generator on the web. LauraMipsum.com. Hmm. <coughs> so I use it all the time. When, when people haven't sent me content for a web page... Okay, give me some Laura Mipsum, please. And I'll take chunks of Laura Mipsum and lay them out, just to test them. It takes a second, and I get... I don't have to think. I don't have to type random letters. Just go, Laura Mipsum, generate, copy, paste. And then chop it around. So anyway, you can see... If this you threw an start, error. What? My bloody code did? Yeah, the character encoding the HTML document was not declared. Oh. The document will render with garbled text in some browser configurations. The document contains characters from outside of the US ASCI range. ASCII. ASCII. Mm. Right, put in there meta char set at the top, UTF-8. If you really are bothered. Like I said, I isolated it down to the smallest possible point. Or I can even do it. What complained about it? What piece of code complained about that? Your browser. Yeah, the browser's complaining. Fuck off. Tell it to fuck off from me. <laughs> it's Firefox. You already tell it to fuck off all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do, don't I, actually? Mm. That still didn't work. So why are you not freaking working? <clears throat> there you go. Meta Charles at UTF-8. I fucking... I don't have Firefox installed anymore. I got rid of it. Yeah. Like, okay, are you looking at the screen? <clears throat> can do. Okay. Maybe you can see what the hell I did wrong. Well, give it 15 seconds. Yeah. Or the two minutes it requires. Mm, okay. Because that's okay, my div look. class up there. Yeah. And then that's the closing of the div class for the wrapper. What is it, down the bottom? Yeah, it, it'll be highlighted momentarily. Div. Div should be div, div, close, div. This is where I was on about you about using tabs. You see how I've laid mine out with tabs so that you can see how everything is in and out. Yeah. It makes it magic. There's your div close. Yeah. There's a div there called nav. It's open and a close. This is where loading it into Notepad++ would be very good because it would, and as an HTML file, and it would know, show you all the ins and outs. And what's it not doing? It, the wrapper here that's contained in the div cla class that covers all of this, 
Yeah. What it should do is center it. Center everything. Show me the style sheet. Poof. <clears throat> it's funny, I'm getting... He's showing me everything. Could be a way with <laughs> different things. Great, I'm watching this about I'm fucking minutes behind, isn't it? He's there, he comes. Let's have a look. So that's what the rapper does. Can't unhighlight it because that makes it difficult for me to read. Sorry. That's what it does. It's applied there and ends here. Oh, can you show me what it's doing in the browser? Uh, it's doing diddly squat. Ah, right, just send me the fuck. Just send me the uh, the style sheet and the file. Hold on a second. And poof, loading it up. Does poopy nothing? Wait, why am oh, I doing I it this way? Why. I can 12. see why. I can see why. Why? You call it class equals rapper. It's not a class. It's looking for an ID of rapper. So mm. if you change that word class equal to ID. So it says ID equals rapper. And that should fix it. Yeah. I might actually be pretty bad at Wargame today because I can't think right from not sleeping well. Oh, don't tell me. Still didn't work. It will. Trust me. ID equals rapper. Show me my netcode! Thank you. Right click source. And refresh the page. Huh. Uh, I hate being too What is it behind. complaining about? I'm looking at it now and it it sees it, but it's not doing anything with it. Okay. It must be loading the style sheet because it's getting it. Can you send it to me? I can. I'll send you the text <coughs> file. <coughs> mm, can't do it that way. Actually, I need the style sheet as well. Oh, yeah, you'll need the style sheet. That's right. You're going to put this in the same file, uh, same folder, yeah. and you're going to have to put in that folder a folder that says external CSS, all lowercase with no spaces, oh, unless yeah. you want to rewrite the link, which, woo, that's difficult. <laughs> I have been much, um, I should call my folder Jed, because I can. And the thing that confuses me is I can go back to this. That's not it. Okay, that's that done. Oh, that's right, because I don't have that freaking thing. I didn't get my notes from you from uh, Friday, so I can't just look at my notes because I don't have Friday's notes. Ah, oh, that's freaking spiffy. Oh, I can't spell external, that doesn't help. Thank you, computer. Now, fuck off. Okay. Right. Let's have a look. Let's do... I don't ever change things to text, so I just have them as HTML all the time. That's what it is. It doesn't compile it. It doesn't change anything, so... It just makes it easier for everything to um, work with it. Uh, where do I want that? Need my Jed folder. Jed folder, where have you gone? <whistles> Here, Jedediah. 
Save. Not fucking Steam. Fuck off. Launch Fuck text off. editor. Fuck off, wave. Add an HTML code to configure a div element assigned to the ID wrapper that wraps or contains.